Georgia's election probe is advancing with new search warrant. Michael Flynn's whole life is really a story of culture war from start to finish. They're godless, they're soulless. And General Flynn, you know, he's a living martyr. This idea that this was spiritual warfare, it's not even an undertone. The battle for the soul of America, using the church as a tool. In collaboration with the Associated Press. What are you fighting for? God bless you, God bless America. Thank you very much. A look at the new documentary from Frontline and the Associated Press entitled Michael Flynn's Holy War. The documentary follows how retired three-star General Michael Flynn has emerged as a leader in a far-right movement that puts its brand of Christianity at the center of American civic life. And joining us now, Associated Press correspondent featured in the documentary, Michelle Smith. Thank you so much for being on. So uh, give us a sense of what exactly Michael Flynn is doing right now. What we found is that Michael Flynn is very deliberately building a political movement based on Christian nationalist ideas that America is a Christian nation, that Christianity should be institutionalized in America. He's been traveling the country. We tracked uh, more than 60 public appearances, speeches since January 6th. He's been endorsing candidates. He endorsed around 100 candidates for this year's elections from the, you know, from U.S. Senate all the way down to school board candidates in some cases. And he's created a network of groups that are working together to advance his agenda. And a lot of that has to do with elections, how elections are run and elections down to the local level. His motto is local action has national impact. Hmm. Now, you, you know, uh, Michelle, we've had quite a few guests on over the past several weeks talking about how, uh, well, one of the biggest problems with Christian nationalism is it actually has very little to do with Christianity. Yeah. That, And we're seeing this across the West. We saw it in Italy. We've seen it in other countries, too, where the very people who associate themselves as Christian nationalists are people who go to church less, that their Christianity is more of a cultural identifier than a, a, than a biblical identifier. Uh, explain that. Yeah, that's right. And we see that um, in some of the events that he is doing. Um, we spent two days at the Reawaken America tour. It's stop, stop in Western New York. Um, and this is a tour that Flynn started last year. There have been 15 cities that it's visited. It's going to be in Pennsylvania in a couple days. Um, and it's basically this um, two-day event that brings together Christian nationalists, um, anti-vaxxers, conspiracy theorists of various stripes, Eric Trump was there, Roger Stone was there, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has spoken at it in the past. Um, and it is, uh, it has the feeling of, when one person I spoke to called it a pep rally on spiritual steroids. It mixes politics and religion and conspiracy theory all together. Um, and it, but it's also a very positive feeling. There's a feeling of community and a feeling uh, that if you're there, you're you're together with these other people who accept you. Um, and then and but then it also fosters this feeling of us versus them. And one of the things that Flynn says at these events, and he says frequently, is that we are in a spiritual war in America. And uh, the idea that this is a war of good versus evil and literal evil, that there are, you know, evil people in this country who are uh, working from the inside against the country. So mixing this idea of spiritual war together with Christian nationalism, many people told us, is a very dangerous mixture because it's setting Americans against each other. Michelle, we've heard of General Flynn since his rise to prominence under Donald Trump. On the one hand, that he was one of the best intelligence officers of his generation. On the other hand, that he's sort of always been like this, what we're seeing now. So what is his end game here? What is his objective? What does he want out of this? Um, that's a 
question that I asked him actually uh, when I interviewed him a few months ago. Um, and he says he wants to, you know, bring America back to constitutional principles and um, that sort of thing. Uh, but, you know, we, we talked to many people who know him and some people said, uh, you know, he wants to get back in government. He wants, he, in his view, he wants to continue to serve. And he has suggested on stage or his supporters have even yelled out, oh, run for vice president, um, that sort of thing. But what, what we can say for sure is he is building a movement very deliberately that brings together all these different elements. There are Republican officials in this movement, um, Republican party officials. He himself has just joined the Sarasota County, Florida Republican Executive Committee. Um, so he's he's putting in place all these little building blocks toward um, building his own influence within the party. Associate Press Correspondent Michelle Smith, thank you so much. Michael Flynn's Holy War premieres tonight on PBS and is available to stream on PBS.org.